Now, so what's it after? Got... Yes. You are the member of the Assurance Committee of Parliament. Yes. This week, yes. the Minerals Commission appeared before you. Yes. The boss, yes. Martin AC. Yes. And a number of things happened at that committee. I want us to listen to, first off, what he said about illegal mining happening in some communities in the eastern region, mm -hmm. specifically, mm -hmm. no, no, not, not yours, not, not yours, in the Etiwa area, yes. behind the police station. The and police came out. Yinem specifically. Yinem, the police came out and indicated it's not happening right behind the police station. It's, it's some 800 meters behind the police station. What? So there was an acknowledgement that indeed there's something happening. What? This is what he said. Let's, let's take a look at it. There's no way we'll tell you, we'll give you a license to go and mine a mineral in a water body. We don't do that. So anybody who gets into the water body is, is involved in illegality. We have reported several that behind a Nyan police station, people are doing stuff there which we have not permitted. So how, how come that the police uh, is not taking action? To us? So those guys that Minas Commission has brought to the attention of MUSEC or DISEC, depending on where it is, the Enyinam one, for example, that Galamse is taking place behind the police station. So it's like we've told you Galamse is having a job, it's under proper, that is behind this new block. Respectfully, Honorable Okujato and Chair of this respectful Honorable Committee, the Minas Commission officer has done his work. I am not saying that we have also not let Ghana down or we are 100% right. Because they have told you that there are instances where people have had all their rights and they have made mistakes. Of course, that's why they are inspectors. So he acknowledges there are some shortcomings in the Minerals Commission, but also makes the point about the number of licenses issued and, and so on. That's a matter that I, I think the committee is dealing with because there was a, a sheet of paper, right? that was presented to you with the years and the number of licenses issued. When we check the Ghana Mining Repository, that's also not consistent with the data that is on there. Is there any other source of data, quickly, from what you do know, for the number of mining licenses issued in this country than what you would find on the Ghana Mining Repository, that website? Now, they appeared so. They appeared so because uh, the data that the CEO presented to the committee was data <coughs> that was um, minus renewals, for instance. Okay. But when you go to the, their website, they cataloged all the licenses issued without indicating renewals. So if you compare what he had vis-a-vis -vis what the chairman of the committee had that uh, the honorable Kujato, um, there were vast differences. So, for instance, if you watch the proceedings that day, I made it clear to him that they should go back and compartmentalize the data. That is, under the act, you have a, you have a section of the law that mandates the commission to issue reconnaissance license. That's the first category. Then you have prospecting license. That's the second category. Then you have license for, for uh, mining in, in mining lease areas. Then the fourth one is the small scale mining licenses. So we have advised him that in all these four categories, indicate how many licenses you have issued to entities and persons. How many have been renewed since perhaps from 93, so that the data when the data is probably disaggregated this way, then we can speak to it properly. But what he brought was to indicate licenses issued over the years, which doesn't particularize which ones, because on the average, the licenses um, are cut out by a flushing of time after five years. You have to come back for renewal. We have no data indicating which ones have been renewed and which ones haven't. Mm -hmm. So the the... Omnibus data like that doesn't speak to the issue. So that was one of the key things that we advised that the commission uh, undertakes. And they promised that they would do that. Then, of course, we're also aware that the APA came 
um, um, on Thursday, the AP also appeared. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at the matters that erupted, I, I'm scandalized to hear the police come out to respond to the Minerals Commission in the manner that they did. That, oh, the, what has been reported as happening behind the police station is not immediately behind the police station, but it is 800 meters away. Very is, 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 is that even a thing to say? No, it, well, it's okay. Uh, it just tells you the state it's, of our see, country. The emphasis is on your known action that a crime is being perpetrated in your neighborhood in, pro, in close proximity to a police post. Well, in that statement, they said that there was no record of the Minerals Commission boss reporting this as he indicated before you, and then also they, they had moved in to check. Alfred, I'm that just going to cut you on this no, matter. No, 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 Please, no, no, have you no, driven no, no. in wait, front wait, of wait, 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 before? Wait, 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 anybody wait, riding wait, on wait. that place, you will see that people operating over there. So if you are telling me, as do you even need anybody to come and tell you, police, that there's a crime happening here? Don't you know the laws of your own country? Can't you see that this is an environmental hazard? Senor, senor. Everything we have to do, book wrong about it. Common sense, F. Why? I will call you. I'm not saying I'm calling. Call, 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 senor, senor, <laughs> senor, you, you senor, carry on, senor, carry on. Senor, <laughs> let's respect <laughs> the <laughs> rules of the platform. Yes. Yes. So it's not even a thing to say. Now, when the police say that there's no record, they, did they indicate that they, they called the police headquarters, there was no there was no complaint lodged. They called the regional police headquarters in Kofoidra, there was no complaint. They called the divisional office. They call the district office in Etiwa. So, you know, we, we, we must... I think the essence of the hearing on Tuesday was that as public servants, we must be, we must be duty conscious when we occupy public offices. And that was my message to the CEO. He was trying to chicken out from my proposition that he must, they must come back for an enhancement but, of the law. Wait, but in any case, he also yeah. has a duty to monitor the operations of yes, the I'm, licenses. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. And therefore, it's not only about licensing. Yes. It's no, also am, about... No, if you look at the law, well, if you look at Act, uh, Act uh, uh, Mining, Minerals and Mining Act 703, 2006, as amended... We are going to go through the... Yes, so yes are, as, as amended by Act 995, 2009, it gives them the power under Section 100 that the MINCOM, which is the Minerals Commission entity, has the power to enforce the implementation of the law. And of course, the regulation that subsequently was passed in 2012, a LI... 2176. What does he say? You have power, for instance, under sections 54 and, and thereafter and, and thereabout. You have power to inspect. You have inspectors, environmental inspectors, to go to the environment where 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 licenses have been granted to ensure that they're proper. Is monitor. Yes. Inspection. Yes, of no, but the, the names of the public officers under the act uh, the environmental inspectors. They, they are right. supposed to go and inspect. When you issue a license that go and mine in, in accordance with certain conditions, you must ensure, the law empowers you to ensure that the mining operation is done in accordance with an act. Already you've told the, you've told the committee or parliament that mm -hmm. any mining activity that is undertaken in a alluvial plains or in the bed of a stream or a river or near a, a water body, it's, it's irregular because you didn't you don't license People operations do is exactly. It, is it unlawful? It's what unlawful. Oh, but <laughs> irregular and unlawful. Ah, okay. So so yeah, 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 yeah. so it's I agree. Judgment. It's unlawful. Now it's your duty to ensure that operations that you have not licensed are are stopped. I terminated. I I, I put that to him, and he agreed. Then I said when this law was passed. In the, in the quiet evenings of 19, sometime in 1993, nobody anticipated that environmental degradation would take this form and character. So we didn't anticipate to, for instance, empower our mining inspectors and environmental inspectors to, for instance, bear arms. But if 30 years down the line, it's become necessary to bear arms, who will give you enhanced powers to do that, like we have done for the immigration service. Because the immigration service, when we set it up, we didn't set it up to bear arms. DS was to just police our borders and all that. 
and check our immigration yeah, matters. But immigration, the border patrols. Oh, that was under the yeah, PLC, yeah. under exactly. the constitution. And that's when they said the arms started coming. No, in. the arms is because a recent. The, the border patrols were already no, having the arms. arms was a recent phenomenon because of the uh, the insurgence of terror activities within yeah. the ECOWAS. So we mm -hmm. decided as parliament, we decided as parliament to enhance their powers, to enable them bear arms. So today they are part of the security services mm -hmm. that bear arms. If this Galamse matters have shook the conscience of the nation and everybody says that it should be stopped and you tell us that as the regulator you have been relying on the army for instance you'll be relying on the police service for instance you'll be relying on the national security apparatus for instance you'll be relying on Ghana immigration service for instance in terms of in terms of um, weapon operations and they have failed you because they have to collaborate with you as a state agency. And they have failed you. What you should be telling Parliament is that now it is time for you as an entity to have your enhanced power so you can confront the menace yourself. Right. But if you tell me that it is the duty of the army, it is the duty of the police to check that, and the police are failing you because it's a lot of the police officers don't see everyday police activities to be... To be, to be roaming the high forest and roaming our, mm -hmm. our flora and fauna looking for criminals. It is you, the mandated entity and the law, whose duty it is to inspect our environment, whose duty it is to make sure that the environment is not degraded in the manner that it is. My brother, and but we, ask him one question. Well, well, and we well, 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 but for the police no, no, they, have, uh, and the they have. Yes. They have, Andy. Yes. Indeed, if you look at the Auditor General's report, mm -hmm. I cited a couple, and, and on Thursday, the Honorable Okujet also brought even the performance audit report. Okay. The Auditor General itself have even flagged the matter, including the fact that even school foods and school buildings are under threat from Galamse operations. Oh, oh, all right. So, okay. We need to think through these matters as right. a nation that what must we do because it appears that existing legislation, even though it empowers state entities, they are refusing to properly invoke their powers under the law for me. The well, EPA came with the same idea. I, I mm -hmm. said, no, they should come back for an enhanced powers. For instance, I'll be the first person to support the idea that the EPA or the Minerals Commission should own a helicopter by now. So they can have, they can roam, have area view of what's happening on the mm. ground, and they can move in. We should be able to support so, them. So, so they, they came with that, that call, that they don't have power. Apart from not having enough powers, they don't have the resources as well, the EPA. That's what they said before you, the committee. Yes. That you, they, they don't have money. Essentially, because you're supposed to conduct an environmental impact assessment. Yes. As part of the processes. Yes. For the granting of licenses. Yes. Yes. And they don't have the men to do so. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what's happening? The reason why that, we are seeing that, this. That wasn't what, that was like, a, like a, the minimis of the discussions. It was, it was not a core uh, part of the matter. What rather they thought or they proposed was there should be a reversal of the rule. And that when Minerals Commission issues the, the concessionaire license, mm -hmm. all right, or the concession, it comes with a Kadista map. Of course, the yes, law yes. the law allows yes. that. That is that is what will tell you Always. the geographical parameters Always. on the ground as to where the mining will take place. Always. Now, you need that before EPA can go in and say that the Kadista map tells us on the ground in situ that the mining will take place in this studio physically. Mm -hmm. So they must determine the environmental impact assessment regarding the mining operations on the flora and fauna within the close proximity of the area. You cannot say that you should do the environmental impact assessment. They were proposing that then they must do, they must perform the assessment analysis before the, the line, minerals commission issues the lines. I say, no, if they do that, you are not able to determine the physical area. So that if, for instance, you determine the impact assessment that it is this studio and the concession is granted when you go on the ground, it is, it is near the gates to the premises of TV3. Okay. It will be a, it will be a total miscommunication. I, I support right. them. All. I'm, my research is in that area. Okay. I support mm, okay. the, 
EIA before the license. Yeah, before but I'm license. saying that if you if you reverse the order, it, it will not help the process because the the performance of the EIA, the environmental impact assessment, must be in respect of a certain physical location, which is always determined by the cadastral map. So can you be a proposer that this is where we are going to grant the license over? Then you yeah, do it. As, soon mm -hmm. as long as they mm -hmm. give us a schedule of where the activities mm -hmm. are expected within the grant of the concession, mm -hmm. it is EIA situated place, within eh? a specific area without more. But again, uh, let mm -hmm. me even push it from where my brother left off. The imp environmental impact assessment plan is not the only requirement. It must be followed with a mitigation plan. Of yeah, course. It's part of it. Yes. Of course. It's how all to, part of how, yes. how to it's mitigate all part. All the part impact. Yes. So that uh, we mark you by your own propositions. If, 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 if I may so, conclude that you, you can okay. come. So two things came out. The, the EPA decried the the fact that they are bashed for not issuing the uh, the impact assessment reports early but mm -hmm. in other jurisdictions like the us it takes on the average like eight years nine years so that when you eventually have the impact assessment report it tells you exactly what to do it's not done in a rush on the other hand the main com the minerals commission is of the view that the, when they place a moratorium on the issuance of licenses sometime in late 2017, 2018, mm -hmm. and there were criticism that that has led to the people moving into the forest quietly, illegally to go and engage in it. So they came back to, to, to reopen the license issuing regime. But according to him, the minister at the time, or his minister, Abujinapur, told him that it is the delay in the issuance of the license that's creating the problem. So they have, they have actually, by a deliberate policy, speeding up the license issuing regime. So the minister told him, is that what he believes as the technical person? Well, so okay. I didn't interrogate that much. So, so in the end... So, 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 so in, in some, these were some of the major matters that, that erupted before the committee that uh, we interrogated.